In 1957, a survey of stars was conducted, looking away from the galactic disk. A small bluish-white star was observed, and the only detail noted on it was its colour. It would not be until over a decade later that astronomers realised that they had spotted one of the largest black holes in the universe. Tun 618 is known as a hyperluminous radio loud quasar. Now there is a bit to break down from that kind of title, so let us go through it. Hyperluminous refers to the total amount of electromagnetic energy released by an object over a period of time. In other words, how much light is being emitted by an object. This means that a hyperluminous object is essentially an extremely bright object. An important consideration here is that this is an absolute measurement, meaning that even an object that appears dim from Earth would not change how luminous it is, since we are simply measuring how much light it is outputting. Radio loud refers to the fact that the quasar is easily visible in the radio wavelength. Detectors that can image radio frequencies can spot these sorts of structures. Pictured here as an example is M87, with a jet of plasma ejected from the central black hole, shooting 5,000 light years out. This image was taken in the radio frequency. Finally, a quasar is a supermassive black hole that has a gigantic gaseous disk surrounding it. As this matter falls into the black hole, vast amounts of energy are released from the disk, which are sometimes so energetic and bright that they outshine the entire galaxy that they reside in. So now we know what Tun 618 is, a hyperluminous radio loud quasar, or simply put, an extremely bright disk of gas surrounding a colossal black hole. So just how big is Tun 618? Tun 618 weighs in at 66 billion solar masses. This means that it weighs as much as 66 billion times the mass of our sun. With this weight, the black hole falls into a completely new category of black holes, known as ultra-massive black holes, which is one with a mass of 10 billion suns or more. On top of this, it is among the brightest objects in the universe, with a brightness of 140 trillion suns. This is so bright that we cannot even see the galaxy it resides in, as the quasar outshines it. The diameter of the black hole is 390 billion kilometers, which is 40 times the orbital distance of Neptune, the furthest planet in the solar system. Tun 618 is among the largest black holes in the universe, and is thought to be at the limit to how large black holes can get. It is thought that black holes over 50 billion solar masses would collapse their gaseous secretion disks that feed them. However, as Tun 618 is larger than this, it shows that we still have much to learn about the formation of such massive beasts. As our observational methods continue to improve, and with many objects still yet to be weighed, there is little doubt that more monster black holes will be uncovered. For now though, Tun 618 is king of the black holes. Until next time, thanks for watching.